Guys, welcome to wonderful Wyoming. We're here. We are about to embark on another adventure. We are going to be chasing elk with archery tackle. So this is a uh, limited entry tag. It's taken me a lot of years to draw it. And uh, I'm super excited. We did a little scouting mission earlier this summer, dropped some cameras, saw some elk, put together a game plan, did a ton of e-scouting. So spent a lot of time on Onyx maps on Google Earth. Also got a lot of help from people. So I want to say thank you just to get this kicked off. There's a couple of folks in particular that were unbelievably unselfish and just offering up information on this tag that obviously I don't have any information on because never hunted it before. It takes a lot of time to pull it, but Chance, Joel, Ben, Raleigh, really appreciate you guys being kind enough to share some of the intel you've learned over the years. But the plan is we, uh, opening day is tomorrow, September 1st. We have a spot that we are going to hike into first thing in the morning and we're gonna go do some exploring. I feel confident about five different places I have kind of zones, what I'll call them, that we've identified that I think could be very, very solid. The elk numbers are high, so there's about 12,000 elk in this particular unit. So, man, they're like the odds are pretty good to have some cool encounters. We're gonna be doing a blend of glassing, spot and stock, little cat road shuffle, all up born and raised, and it's gonna be me, Case, and Logue. Like, that's the team. That's what we're here to do. We're gonna have a lot of fun, and with any luck, we're gonna put one of these in a bowl. Okay, this is the one. Big bull elk. 40 yards. Let's say 360 bull. Comes walking in tomorrow. He dead. Got him. We just punched a tag. Well, guys, I think we have camp erected for the night. Kind of got everything out of the truck. Got our bags packed for the morning. Got all our hunting gear ready. And uh, it's time to eat some dinner. This is the new Camp Chef Everest. Brian just got before this trip and I just lit it first strike. Pretty rad. But what's on the menu tonight is some uh, Buckley Farms bratwurst. We are gonna throw them on there. We got the, uh, the old skillet ready. And then we're gonna probably do a salad. What do you guys think about brats and a salad? Some veggies and some meat? I got the A mic today. You ready? As I am ready. That guy's rolling if you wanna. A little late start, for reasons, but. <laughs> reasons? <laughs> I set the alarm for 4.15 a.m. and then hit snooze about 12 times. <laughs> um, a couple people in the tent. I'm not really in a great, great shape to get up before 15 a.m. So, you know, I was like, probably don't need the trailhead in dark and hike in. It's a brand new place. I'll, I'll be casually your, stroll in. I'll be your whipping boy because you were probably ready to go, right? I was wide up. <laughs> wide up? Wide up. And <laughs> I was wide up. These little canyons, though, freaking killer. There's not a lot of feet in here for them. I mean, I guess they go down there, but mule deer is great. I like spots like this, though. It be like, I don't, but you know, some yeah. unsuspecting spots are like, nah. I like 
you can't really, I mean, you can't glass it, so it's good hidden stuff. exploratory mission the other places that I have in mind we've already scouted so we kind of have a head start but it's opening day September 1st it's also Labor Day weekend so I just felt this spot would have a lot less pressure so far no pressure uh, but no elk yet so we're just gonna check it out figure it out sort it out Come up with a game plan. Maybe we'll get into a bull and shoot one today. Maybe we won't say anything. And we'll just mark this one off and move along to the next spot. That's what's kind of cool though about exploring a new area. You just never know what you're gonna find and what lies around the next big pile of rocks. Huh, Case? Yep, you're right. <laughs> First relatively fresh rub. Oh, she's way fresh. Yeah. Look at this bowl, man. You can go right there. Found a wallow just down on the backside of this little saddle. A lot more fresh sign, fresh rub. It's getting fresher the further we get in, too. Yeah. Two and a half miles in so far. Just gonna sneak up over this next little peak. It looks like there might be some good bedding grounds over here. Definitely been in there. Smells like elk factory. If they make factories, I'm not sure. Never been to one, but if they did have an elk factory, I would imagine that's what it smelled like. Yeah. Rather, right case? Sure thing. <laughs> Waking up from a little sleepy time, a snack break. Felt good to take the boots off, cool. Get all the sweat dried off. We're gonna just keep working our way that away towards the place we're trying to get to. So we've seen some great sign. No elk yet. Angrier. Yeah. 
You have good volume. I was just listening to Trevor. More volume. Well then what's our uh, status quo? Well, we're not quite to the destination we were heading to. We're at a really good vantage point though, where we can see kind of around the destination we were heading to. We're still about three and a half miles in. We've been at this point for the last two and a half, three hours. Just kind of waiting for it to turn into evening. See if we can see some elk running around. This country's wild. You can get into some really thick stuff. You can get into some really rocky stuff. And you can kind of get into like a hybrid, which we are sitting at right now. Tell the people uh, why you have a black eye and some scrapes on your face. So last night, around two in the morning, there was like a Boone and Crockett badger that got into the trail, into the trailer. All I had on me was this bugle tube. He latched onto my face, got a black eye, but I fought through it, held my ground, and I saved the guys. So this has been a PSA about badger awareness. They're thick in Wyoming this year, so watch out. I got some scars. Can't okay, really tell people what happened. <laughs> I was picking my cat up outside and he got real pissed, which he doesn't which is unlike him. And I'll tell you what, those animals are agile. I was holding him like this and he got pissed, jumped around, put a claw on each temple in the kill zones and bit my face. So me and the cat aren't on best terms right now. We'll see if he still has a home when I get back. Shiner's coming along nice though. Gosh, dude. <laughs> not worth packing back to the truck. <laughs> it's worth hanging in that tree right there. I'm gonna hang it up in the tree all on Randy Newberg. This is a good tree right here. Yeah. I hope that brings us good luck. That was an adventure. It was fun. We uh, checked big, did a big check off the box. We're not going back in there. <laughs> There's two other guys hunting in there. We didn't see an elk, cure an elk. We're gonna bivy in there tomorrow, but I don't think it's worth it. I think we better go back to camp, regroup, and figure out what tomorrow brings. What do you think, Bray? I like it. where your head's at. After today, we're gonna need some warm food to warm our bellies. Not because we got cold or anything, but we just need like a motivated, motivational meal. That's chili, tortillas, cheese, sriracha. You guys ready? Well, that's a wrap from day one in Wyoming. Uh, no elk were harmed in the making of this film, but we still appreciate your patience and you watching. We are confident that the elk action will pick up. So uh, do us a favor, share it with a friend, share it with uh, somebody that might enjoy our channel. Hit the little red subscribe button and we will be back same place, same time tomorrow. Have a good night.